Welcome back, race fans, to part two of our new series on how to Mad Max some cars. So we've got our skyline here, and the first thing we're going to do is mess up the paint. So I've got my little file here, and we're just going to scratch it up. I find the uh, round files work really good. You can do as much or as little of this as you want. But we just want to take that new car shine off. Now it's probably more likely to get, you know, dinged up on the sides and the front. But a few scratches on the hood or the top, we're okay. Some in the back. And I'm going to scratch up this back windshield a little bit. Alright, so there you go. Like I said, you can scratch it all off if you want, but we're going to leave some of this paint showing through. I'm going to do a, yeah, a little bit on the black there. Alright. And then, next thing I normally do is just I pick out some pieces that I plan on trying to uh, fit. And I know I want to use the little baby ball rocket launchers so those are gonna go on there and I'm thinking about putting this on the front for like a like a cage ram kind of thing and then I'm probably gonna use some chain and then I want to screen out the windshield and I want to do that first so I've cut a little piece of screen bigger than the windshield. And I'm going to grab a marker. And kind of mark out where this is going to go. So I'm going to start on the bottom. And mark out roughly where I need to cut. And I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but. There's a small little line there. And you can cut these with scissors. Like that. Remember, it's going to bend. It's going to bend it in place. That looks pretty good just for that little angle there. And then this one, I can kind of just eyeball. That lines up there. Now I'm going to mark. Remember, this does not have to be perfect. I'm going to mark my next cut. go inside of the window frames so. all 
And then you just kind of trim it around and make it fit as best you can. A sharpie would probably work better than this marker. So now it should fit pretty good. Bend it on there, push it down. Looks like I'm gonna trim a little bit more off the top. Other than that, it's pretty good. It's also, uh, you'll get a much better uh, result if you take the car apart and fit it from the inside. But this is just basic, easy, uh, you know, get cars done fast kind of stuff. So in a later episode, we will get into more advanced things. So I'm liking the fit of that pretty good. So we're going to take some of our Gorilla Super Glue Gel. And a toothpick. And I'm just going to squirt a little on here. Just a little drop is all you need. Let's spread that around. Maybe a little more. Let me make sure you get all the ends on the corners. Take our screen. Push it down. Probably get some glue in your fingers doing this. There we go. Alright, so there's our windscreen. Next we're going to do our baby bottles. And first thing I'm going to do is just glue them together. So, just a thin layer. Push them together. Hold them down flat. And we'll let that dry a minute and then come back. All right, so our baby bottles are glued together. And now I've taken one of these pointy Q-tips and cut one off. And I cut it longer and I just kept cutting it shorter until it got to the point I wanted it there. So it looks like a, a rocket sticking out. Now I'm going to take this one. And line them up. Best I can here. And we'll just make a mark there. It's probably a little long, but that's fine. And we'll see if they line up. 
So we can see that this pink one's a little bit longer. So just cut a little more off. Still a little more. All right, close enough for me. And now we'll take our super glue again. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm just going to put a little dot on my paper here. And get a little on that. And a little on that one. And glue those in and let those dry. And we'll be back. All right, so while I was waiting for this to dry, I was playing around and I took a piece of one of our hair curlers and that I was thinking about putting on the front and now I think I want to put it on the back like that and then put those on top. So don't be afraid to change your plans if you come up with something you like better. So now we'll just get a little glue there and a little glue on there get it centered and that should dry pretty quickly. And then these are dry now. And I had this uh, little piece from my tank model kit. And I just wanted to put that on there somehow. Just to make it look less like a uh, baby bottle. So I'm going to snip off these pieces. Take my little sander. Get that flat. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and cut these off too. Get those of sand. Just so it all fits together better. Dry fit that. There we go. Get a little glue. That on. And then we can go ahead and glue this to the top. A little bit crooked. Glue's drying up a little too fast. Just keep playing with it till you get it where you want it. That looks pretty good. Alright, now we'll let that dry real good. Come back to the next part. Alright, I have decided that that's all I want to do to this car. 
So next step is to use some black primer and we're going to paint all of the plastic parts that we've added. and our q-tips and it might take two coats don't forget about our little roll cage here If you get a little bit on the green, it's not the end of the world. Probably wipe it right off. Or you can cover it up when we start to add all the rust. But the main main goal here is to cover up all this odd colored plastic so that our silver paint will stick. So give it one good coat like this and then let it dry and probably will take one more coat. Just depends on the materials you're using. Make sure to look at it from all angles, like underneath. I can see I missed a lot down here. But we definitely don't want any of that blue or pink shining through. So I'm going to let this dry, give it another coat, and then we'll come back with the next step. Alright guys, so... I let the primer dry, did one more coat so it's got really good coverage, and then I used some uh, flat matte varnish over the whole thing, and that's going to help the paint stick to the, uh, the actual paint on the car, um, So, and it also cuts down the shine some, which you want, and I just used a little piece of poster tack in this little bottle to hold it while I sprayed it. Next I'm going to use some of my silver paint. And I've got this brush here, it's got a flat tip and it's kind of uh, beat up which is a good thing. And we're going to do some dry brushing. So I'm going to take just a little bit of that silver paint and wipe almost all of it off on a paper towel. Basically, till, just keep rubbing it off until the paint is barely noticeable. We're going to go on everything we want silver. Start brushing that on. And it will only hit like the raised areas. Get rid of that for now. See how it brings that detail out. So we're going to go ahead and do that part and then do a little more paint. I'm going to do the tubes. The fronts of the tubes. And then I think I want to leave, now I'm going to go ahead and do the cage part too. I was thinking about just leaving it black, but. So 
real quick and easy. <coughs> and then now we need to decide what color we want to paint the rockets. And I think we'll go with red. Let's see if I can find the new brush. So just a regular small paint brush. And we've got some red paint here. And we'll just paint that on. Trying not to get it onto the tube. I'm going to let that dry. We'll come back for the next step. All right, so our red is dried. Uh, one thing I do want to do is go back with our silver and get it good and dry again. And I just want to try to highlight these uh, spokes in the wheels a little bit just to give the tires some more interest. Nice and easy. Just like that. All right, next we're gonna go on to the rust. And I've got my three different browns. I've got dark brown, red brown, orange brown. Doesn't matter what brand. Then we're gonna take our pluck foam, and just tear off a little piece and put it in some tweezers. We're gonna start with our dark brown, get some paint on it, and then basically do the same thing with the dry brush and just wick away a lot of that paint until it starts to make like a little spatter pattern. And then you just start randomly applying it on the car, do it on the wheels, Pretty much wherever you want to put it, just depends on how uh, rusty you want it to look. I usually go pretty heavy with this first one. I'll put some on the windscreen. We'll go pretty heavy with this first brown and then less and less of the consecutive colors. And you don't really need to wait uh, between steps for that to dry because you can just move right to the next color. Wick that one off. Putting it on. And like I said, I use a little less of the uh, next two colors. And if you get like a big spot, like that's a pretty big spot there. If you don't like that, just take your thumb or your finger and just wipe it right off. Do it quick. It'll come right off. It might streak a little bit, which is also fine. Not really going for realistic rust here, it's just basically dirtying up the cars and so you got a little too much there, so I'm just gonna wipe it off.
And then we've got our third color. And this one I just try to hit the spots I've already done. Mostly. Not all of them. And this will uh, darken a bit as it dries. So really the only thing I think left is I'm going to get some of the wash. Which is basically just watered down black paint. I'm going to use that on this uh, uh, screen just to kill some of that shine just brushing it all over and you can also use it like uh, in any of the lines in the cars to give a little more definition Basically, it just runs into the cracks and just gives it a little bit of a shade. The door handle, any of the lines in the body on the front. On the grill there. Gas cap. That's pretty much it for our very basic, simple, Mad Max style, gasoline style car. So uh, make sure and join in and leave your, uh, your idea for a good name for this car. Keep it family friendly, please. And I will pick whoever's name I like best for the car, and then you will be a driver in the tournament that we do with all of these cars. So, and you can guess as many times as you want, but you only be able to be the driver for one car. But I'm not going to pick the drivers until all the cars are done. So guess as many times as you want on all of the cars. But thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully you will uh, make some Mad Max cars. See ya.